Craig here and um, this video I'm creating as a member has asked me about how do they go about transferring a blog that they've just sold so I figured why not create a video and show you how I would do it now before I move on I wanted to point out that there are several different ways you can do this and the way I do it may not be the best way and other people may recommend doing it different ways but the way I do it, it works, so you are more than welcome to follow along. So in this video, I'm going to be using HostGator. Now, most uh, hosting companies use a control panel, so you should be able to follow along even if you're not using HostGator. Okay, so this is the demo site I use in all of the videos, quitnowstopsmoking.com. And what I'm going to do, well, the first step is to download the blog to my computer. So what I'm going to do is I've logged into my control panel and what I need to locate is the file manager. So I'm going to scroll down until I can locate the file manager and here it is right here. So when I click on it I can, you know, we have a couple of different options here. Now the document route for quit now stop smoking is already selected. Now if I wanted to I could uh, navigate my way to it. So I'm gonna hit go. Now you may not be able to see everything because uh, I have my screen to only record a set size but everything you need to see is in view. So as you can see here we have all of the folders and the files so what I'm going to do is click on select all and then I'm going to select compress and now I'm going to select uh, the zip format Oop, zip, and I'm going to change because what it's going if I don't change this it's going to create a zip file called CGI bin dot zip well that's not what I want so I want to call this blog name. Obviously you would put your blog name or whatever you like in there. Now I'm going to hit compress files. Now it may take a minute or two to compress all these into a zip file. And it successfully compressed all of the files in, in the blog. Okay, so I can hit close. Now you can see that the zip file is located here. Now what I want to do is I want to download this to my computer. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this. We can select the file and hit download. Or you could come over to the, the domain, it's the website itself and enter it in the URL. You would enter, you know, blogname.zip. So I'm just going to download it from inside of the file manager. Okay, I press OK. Now, as you can see, it's uh, 27 megabytes, so it's going to take some time to download. So there's another step that we need to do is we need to download the database. Now, to do this, you need to know what your database name is. Now if you don't know this, the easiest way to figure it out is to find your WP config file and then select code editor. And select edit. Now when the page opens, it gives me it's slightly off screen here, but we have DB name and it is made with underscore WordPress uh, WRDP 14. So I'm going to leave this open for a minute because I'm going to jump back over to the control panel and now I need to locate PHP my admin. So now that the PHP my admin is loaded, you I need to locate the underscore WRDP14. 
And if I keep scrolling down, like I have a lot of blogs on this uh, hosting account, so WRDP4, WRDP14. So I'm going to select that database. Okay, so this is the database that I need to export. So before I export it, I want to scroll down and select check all. And then over in this drop down menu, I want to select optimize or optimize table. So I'm going to select that. And it's all been optimized. So now I want to export. Now, as the, by default with HostGator, they are all selected. But if they're not all blue, hit select all. Then scroll down. Make sure there's a check mark in save as file. And then I have to resize my window. And then we just need to hit go. Now it's going to download the SQL database file. Uh, hit OK. And the file has been downloaded. So now if I go and look at my downloads, ignore these two files for a minute. So I have all of the core files for the blog in a zip file. And I have the blog database in an SQL file. So these are now the only two files that I need to give to the person I've just sold my blog to. Or if I'm transferring my blog to another host, then these are the only two files that I need. 